Today's candle review leading up to candle day is for winter white woods. And I would like to say, this label is so quaint, it's so cute, I adore it. I really like the whole packaging of this candle, the white frosted glass, it all works in tandem and creates a wonderful festive collection for the holidays. Takes you to thoughts of a fireplace in um, the country, you know, where you're eating a lot of good food and you're surrounded by wonderful friends and family. Um, the, the air is fresh and clean. And in California, you would be able to smell the pine trees. Now this um, candle is essentially a pine scent. Ironically, I'm told this candle has sold out and is now hard to get. It's no longer available online. And um, you just have to try and find it on candle day or um, maybe catch it in your local store. Sometimes things are a little bit different in your local store. But um, I would like to encourage you to take heart. I'm gonna share with you first the performance issues. My candle is tunneling. Um, I was not able to get rid of that bit of tunneling there and there's some tunneling there. It may correct as I get to the bottom of the candle. Some people are like, well, you don't know how the candle's doing until you got halfway finished it. I enjoy my candle from the very beginning to the very end. So I am giving you a review on my candle at the beginning. You know, you get 25 to 45 hours of burn time out of these candles. I am one of the few people who usually gets around 40 to 50 hours out of my candle. So I'll just give you the little tip and secret to that. The candles don't burn very hot for the first 30 minutes or so. So they burn more slowly at that time period. If you burn your candle for about an hour and then extinguish it, you will get closer to the 45 hours. If you burn your candles for two or three hours, after that first hour, the candle is burning pretty hot. And by the time you get to the third hour, you've got a huge pool of wax and you're pouring out your fragrance as fast as the candle possibly can. So within 25 hours, that candle will be finished. My candles last me over a month and that is with regular use. So I'm just telling you that because people who burn their candles really quickly and burn them for long periods of time would not know that those of us who are comfortable with having an hour's worth of fragrance in the air, our candles do last the 45 hours. Sometimes I get more than 45 hours, okay? Those are just rough estimates. It depends on the scent. If a candle is stronger scented, sometimes I don't even burn it for an hour. And then the candle, because the wax is not as hot while it's burning, will last even longer. So that is the performance issue. That is my own unique experience. I don't think I've heard anybody else share that. And um, I don't leave my candles unattended. The home fragrance is precious to me. It is a luxury. It is expensive. And I'm not going to waste it on a room that I'm not in or a time that I'm not in. You know, so that being that. Now we will get into the fragrance of this candle. This candle is essentially a Christmas tree scent. Winter white woods. They are showing trees that are deciduous. But this specifically smells like an evergreen tree. I smell a Christmas tree. It is a sweet, sappy Christmas tree. I can't tell you what kind it is, but when I was a child and my mother and I, we used to go and buy a Christmas tree, a real Christmas tree. We used to buy the cheap one and it always smelled just like this candle. So whatever the cheap Christmas tree is, that the one that you can get on sale if you get it closer to Christmas, that's what this 
candle smells like. Uh, in addition to that, it's not strong like fresh balsam. Fresh balsam can blow you out the house. This is a very demure, intimate, personal uh, Christmas tree scent. It really sets the mood that it's Christmas time. You have a tree in the house. Um, it's a budget tree. You're not you're not shopping in the most expensive aisle getting the tree with all the strong smell and everything to it. You don't have a you couldn't afford a Christmas wreath along with your Christmas tree. You just got your Christmas tree in your house. The needles are a little bit dry and some of them are falling to the ground, but you're happy because you're a child and it's Christmas time and there's going to be gifts under this tree and you get to decorate it with all these fun balls and everything and you're celebrating Christmas. That's what this tree is to me. That's what it smells like. It's it, It's got a sweet, sappy Christmas tree scent to it. Nothing more, nothing less. I I can't I can't figure out what they're talking about with all those different notes. All I smell are the smell of a Christmas tree. Now, some people have said this smells like Yuletide. Yuletide smells like fresh balsam to me. Yuletide is a very, very strong candle. Sometimes I can only burn my Yuletide candle for 20 minutes. And I have to tell you, quite honestly, I prefer Yuletide to winter white wood. If I had to choose between purchasing Yuletide and purchasing winter white woods, I would purchase Yuletide because it is much stronger. It is much more pronounced. Yuletide smells like an expensive Christmas tree, uh, one, like you were had enough money to go as soon as they cut the Christmas trees. It's fresh. Um, all the leaves, all the needles on your um, Christmas tree are still fresh and sappy and full of flavor. Your whole house smells very strongly of Christmas. This one, as I said, is bargain Christmas tree. You couldn't get your Christmas tree until um, like right before Christmas, like Christmas Eve or something like that. Because you had to wait until the Christmas tree lot put the sign up talking about, okay, get your Christmas tree for half off kind of thing. That's what this smells like to me. Now, this is lighter than um, Yuletide. The notes on this candle are icicles, cedarwood, and sandalwood. So, I, I, I mean, I don't smell sandalwood strong in this candle. In fact, I smell pine, and pine isn't listed in the note, but I guess when icicles is the first thing mentioned, that icicle stands for um, Christmas tree. So whatever Christmas tree scent you want to put out there, that would be that. And maybe cedarwood is kind of a Christmas tree scent too. Now I wanted to kind of relate to balsam candle. Balsam candle again smells more expensive to me than winter white woods. I think a lot of people are going crazy for winter white woods because this is really what um, lower middle class and poor folks Christmas really smells like. They nailed it. That cheap Christmas tree that's slightly dried out, it's there. But if you wanted to have an expensive Christmas tree smell, like if you go to a hotel or a lodge or something and they've got expensive Christmas trees, fresh balsam or yuletide, would be the candles that smell like an expensive Christmas tree. You know, so that's the difference there. This is a very authentic smell. It definitely smells like Christmas in your home. If you do not have a Christmas tree, a live Christmas tree, or you don't believe in live Christmas trees anymore, but you want your house to smell like a Christmas tree, this will do it. The great thing about this one is it is guest friendly. Um, nobody's going to be offended if you have a small house or apartment this would um, probably scent your house pretty strongly. Um, I burn all my candles for my reviews in an open concept place because that's where I burn my candles and I don't want to change because the candle is light or soft or anything. I don't burn candles in my bedroom 
or anything like that right now. Um, so I burn them in the fireplace in um, the den. So that's where my scent is coming from. And um, this one, when I'm walking by it, it's nicely scented. It's, it's nice and strong within a four foot radius. But um, if you're 10 feet away, it's a very soft, faint scent like you would have if you had a real Christmas tree in the room. So I wanted to give you that information. I like it. I personally am not certain I would repurchase it at this point because I like Fresh Blossom more and I like Yuletide more. I like stronger candles and I don't care to, to burn a candle for a very long time. Oh, let me mention the lingering qualities of this one. This scent is so light that I do not notice it lingering in the space. It may linger, but I don't like to get too close to my candle, so I'm not within a four foot radius of my candle. So if it's just lingering in that four foot radius, I won't notice it, okay? So if you want lingering, this isn't the way to go. If you want a beautiful label, if you want a candle that's definitely Christmas and speaks to winter, I believe this is a scent that you could use all winter long. I like pine scents. I like Christmas tree scents all winter long. So this is right up my alley. Also, it kind of reminds me of my Mrs. Myers Iowa pine, which I really like to clean with. So there's that. So your house is going to smell fresh and clean as well. And um, I hope this... Um, candle review was helpful to you and I hope that um, I was thorough enough. You can see these wicks are burning nicely. I haven't trimmed them and they're not really mushrooming out too badly. They're nice and good but um, is the candle starting to, yeah see as it get, if I burn this candle for two or three hours it probably wouldn't have had that little spot on it because as I'm talking to you that little spot is dissipating. So, you know, I'm not going to worry about that. It's a nice candle. Um, if you see it on candle day and you want a guest-friendly Christmas tree scent for the Christmas season in your house, Winter White Woods is a good choice. It seems to be well-received. It has sold out. And, um, you know, there's a lot of great Christmas tree scents. If you don't get this one, there's a ton of other uh, Christmas tree scents this year. And I am enjoying the Christmas tree scent variety. Um, my favorite is still Fresh Balsam. So Jesus loves you and I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful.